San Diego, California. At this lowrider contest, drivers compete to see whose wheels can bounce the highest. This is about making cars do things that cars are not supposed to do. It's like bestiality. Car bestiality. The last competitors pushed their rig into the spotlight. Is that a 1986 station wagon that you took the wood paneling off of? Sweet. Bring it back. Bring it back, baby. Do you think a car is supposed to go that high? Apparently not. At one point, uh, you see the hood of the car opening and closing, almost like it's crying for help. I don't give a f about my car, man. I won, dude. It's been like like uh, six months, like tricking it out, putting the hydraulics in, got it painted, got a sponsor, and then just crushed it, man. It's awesome. Yeah. You're not driving it out of here. Yes, I am. Yeah, maybe he'll drive the thing that's towing it. It's not a low rider. It's a no rider because no one will be riding that car anymore because it's broken. I thought it was cute. To the speeder while his partner attends to the victim. Me, I got the perp. I'm pulling him over right now. Turn off the car. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Huh? Say what happened? Uh, ran someone over. Why are they in the road? Touche. They were crossing the road. You ran them over. When I hit a guy and he goes 100 feet in the air and his shoes go flying, I'm pretty aware of it. How much you have drink tonight? For those of you who don't know, uh, two beers in DUI speak equals uh, nine scotches, prescription pills, and cocaine. The driver is charged with drunk driving and leaving the scene of an accident. The victim, Raphael Hatter, has since made a full recovery. And he only broke a leg. Not bad for a night stroll. This female driver has been stopped for speeding in a school zone. Who's your superior? I could kill you. I could kill you. Did they pull over Judy Gold? Go f yourself. I could kill you, and I've never used that word in my life. You're the first one to get the pleasure of hearing it from me. I have never used that word before. Liar, liar, pants on fire. I'm a good citizen, and you're harassing me. Get to work and do something worthwhile. That's what I'm trying to do. Yeah, man. bull and I never talk like this to anyone. I want you to stop reacting the way you are in front of the children. Oh, thank you. I never talk like this to anyone. Spencer, get your feet off the seat. I never swear to anybody. I'm going to let Nick Cobb have it, huh? Oh, and what are you going to do about it? Shoot me. I'm telling Daddy when we get home. She just... She just cracked you to hear what she said. I have never been so angry. I am not a hostile person, but you brought out that devil in me. I gotta say, this woman is a smells, which is a soccer mom I'd like to slap. The woman's tirade attracts the attention of a concerned citizen. Put me in the jail, then. Put me in the mother jail. If I had a gun in my hand, you'd better look out, because that's how mad I am. Man, you need to watch your language. Who threatens to kill a cop? It's a speeding ticket. The driver's arguments prove unpersuasive, and the officer issues a ticket. Well, I'll say you know what? I gotta go. Okay. Have a nice day. New Year's Day. An Ohio woman on her way home from a party stops at a fast food drive through Hi, can I help you? Yeah, I'd like a big box of chicken nuggets, please. Good to see she's keeping her New Year's resolutions to eat better. 
Ma'am? Yeah? I'm sorry, we don't have chicken nuggets to stir in the morning. What? Can I get you anything else? I don't want anything else. I want my damn nuggets. Well, that ain't happening, ma'am. What? You ain't got no nuggets? If I go to drive through at 6, 6.30 in the morning, and they don't have my nuggets, I'm already pissed off. I want nuggets. Well, I'm sorry, ma'am, but there ain't no nuggets. That's it. Yeah, we'll see about that. So, close the window. Close the window on her. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Close. Uh, oh, nuggets. what? Tanya Harding. Tanya Harding is attacking me through the window. Get the manager. Uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh uh, must uh, be crazy, I bitch. My hair. We ain't got no uh, nuggets. I don't give a fly a if it's 6 o'clock in the morning. I want my nuggets. Close that window! She's crazy! Put it on her fingers! I don't care! I don't care! Close it! She's crazy! Hey, come on with the line already! I'm starving! Judy, shut up! I want my toy! I want my nuggets! Better have them when I come back, bitches! Have you ever had the chicken nuggets at that place? They, they are worth it. All right. All right, here you go. Thank you for your order. Come again. Here's a cheeseburger, sir. Can I have some extra broken glass with that? The woman is later arrested and sentenced to 60 days in jail for vandalism. Way to start the new year right. I think this is going to be the one where all your dreams come true. California Highway Patrol pursue a driver doing over 100 miles an hour. We do a couple donuts and then we'll get this chase going again. Crop circles, let the kids have a little mystery in the morning. Unable to shake the authorities, the driver vents her frustration. I'm not sure I've ever seen trash talking from outside a car during a car chase. Just interesting to see the female approach on it. Like in the middle of a car chase, she feels that there's a conversation that needs to happen. You suck! Ma'am. You ruined my life! Your car is rolling. You're an okay? Ma'am, your car is rolling. I do not want to have sex tonight! chasing her she's giving him the bird like the cops gonna go home oh, boy she doesn't like us let her go bam 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 my tax dollars at work get out of the car right now get on the ground get out of the car get away from me get off my tip at the end you can still see she's talking out of the car out of the ground right now right now Real original, boxing me in. Oh, I'm impressed. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. Listen to me. The driver is charged with assault with a deadly weapon and felony evasion. She did it all, taunting cops, crop circle. She is like a crazy woman terminator. at this Turkish car wash. Hey, come on, what's the hold up? Why are you taking so long? Come on, hurry up here. Damn it, forget it. You know what? I am cutting in line. Okay. My car's gotten pretty dirty, but it's never been that important. Okay, you know what? Forget it. No, I don't want the wash. Thanks, go long. Go this way here. Forget it. No, no, sorry. Okay, bye-bye. Uh, you know, actually, I will have a wash. Uh oh. Somebody tell this guy patience is a virtue. Either that or take his license away. Okay, go! Move it! Move! My car is busy! Okay, I need to go next! Deal with it! What are you doing? What? It's funny how in parts of the world they all do this. Yes! Did you see that? That's the national move of Turkey. Uh, uh, uh. I didn't know that before, but I looked it up on the internet. Look out! Damn it! Damn it! Hey, look out! Hey, 
Oh, he's got a whole load of people that are going to be really pissed off. Hey, I'm telling you the line was not moving. Oh, you know they gave him the most insulting curse there is in Turkey. Your mother has no facial hair. Her skin is like bottom of newborn baby. Don't blame me. You are the slow ones. I can't believe this happened in Turkey. That's Istanbul. <laughs> It's been <laughs> America's <laughs> laughing. Excuse me, sir. You, you, sir. You. Oh, he went in. <laughs> Herbie the love truck. What misadventures have you gotten into this time? The car was playing hide and seek. The car was like, I'll fix you for not putting me in gear. Shh. Don't anybody tell him I'm back here. Where's my truck? Where'd my truck go? I could have sworn it was here. He comes out. What? What happened? Uh, okay, let's see. Uh... It's not like you parked it in a mall. Were we in G15 or B15? There's six spots in front of the store, sir. Your car's gone. Oh, man, what the f He goes back into the convenience store, and he's like, hey, did, uh, did a truck come in here by any chance? Because I, like, I had it outside, now I don't have my truck. 911, where's your emergency? Yeah, hello? Yeah, someone stole my truck. I need a cop here right now. A quick review of the surveillance tape reveals the truck came to rest against the wall of a nearby garage. The truck just seems to drive beautifully without him in it. He should just ride around in the back. A speeding truck hauling 10 tons of lemons takes a sharp turn on a highway ramp. was a lemon. Life gives you lemons. Take out a freeway rail. Boy, that driver must have been in a sour mood. <laughs> Where's the sugar truck? Looks like the juice is loose. That's more lemons than a Danny Baldwin film festival. I haven't even said anything yet. Fortunately, no one was beaten to a pulp by the cascading fruit. But the driver lost his zest for his job. Cars were peeling out. But sadly, no one came to the lemon's aid. Turkey, a worker stands near the tracks as a train approaches. Suddenly, a truck lurches forward. Wait, wasn't there a train coming a moment ago? Oh boy, worker's conversation. How come a truck didn't hear her? Look, I mean, hello. Can I make it? Oh, he's about 10 feet away and he's doing 200. I think so. I hear a train whistle, but I can't peek because If there was ever a time where your pants was completely understandable, it would be this time. Is this truck driver crazy? He's going to be hit by the... Holy Oh, good thing I was wearing my hot hat. Unbelievably, he walks away from the accident with only minor injuries. That's horrible! He's dead! He's dead! No, 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 I'm okay, okay, it's just... Small scratch, it's okay. I just, I need a lamb sandwich. This is not possible. I would like to take this man with me to Vegas and then uh, just do what he does. It is lucky that he survived the whole thing, but he's not as lucky as all the people who haven't been hit by trucks and trains. When interviewed about his incredible good fortune, he tells a reporter, No matter what, 
Life is good. He also has some choice words for the truck driver, which loosely translate as that mother. No! Oh, I did not expect this to be happening on my lunch break. Walkie, a tanker truck going over 70 miles an hour, suddenly loses a tire. Holy <laughs> You know, boom, here's a tire in your windshield. Like the guy driving the SUV had a tire magnet in his head. It just went right to him. You don't know when you're riding down the street when the Michelin man just might show up and bitch slap you. <laughs> Damn. Luckily, the driver of the SUV sustained only minor injuries. Okay, follow the bouncing tire. Now everyone, sing along. Biggest round it's a bouncing machine. It's the meanest damn radio the world's ever seen. Bring down the road, black top, hip hop. Lord only knows when the sucker's gonna stop. Everyone follow the bouncing tire. Ow. 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 When it's coming your way, hightail quit. Don't become the next victim of a galvanized rubberized son of a bitch with a PSI and a pound per inch. It's big, it's round, it's bouncing machine. The meanest damn radio the world has ever seen. Springing down the black top, hop by hop. Lord only knows what the f is gonna stop. The end. Line up for the exit toll at Dallas Fort Worth Airport. Well, that's one way to avoid paying a toll. Girl, it's a dollar. I'll pay the toll for you. Oh! Did you just see a rocket car? This happened in Texas, and she landed in Arizona. Witnesses reported the vehicle sailed over the toll booth, then burst into flames upon hitting the ground. Todd, this is Lottie. I'm going to be late for Tanya's wedding. Save me some meatballs. Somehow, the driver only breaks her wrist in the fiery crash. Uh, hey, darling, I'm sorry about your wrist, but you're gonna still have to pay that 350. The driver claims she was propelled forward because she was rear-ended. But police find no evidence that her vehicle was hit and arrest her on suspicion of DWI. If you think that you want to say that you've been rear-ended, maybe you should go make it look like it. You know, run into something, paint it, and then come back. I mean, come on. Gotta think faster than that. I sort of believe she was rear-ended, in a sense. I mean, I believe a whole case of whiskey snuck up on her.
police pursue a driver who failed to stop at a red light in Marion County, Florida. Man, I'm not pulling over. I got another idea. Check this out. Did I just see a f tree eat a car? This guy caught some serious air. I mean, hello. This guy got as much air as Tony Harding on ice, okay? Yeah! Hot uh oh. Oh! Oh! Uh, eight. Kiss my ass! Woo! Uh oh. Oh! Oh! Okay, I don't see any signs explicitly saying so, uh, but parking in a tree is definitely illegal. Airballs! Woo! Uh -oh. Oh. Oh. I don't know who was more pissed off, the trees or the people who lost power that day. It's the smoking gun presents the world's dumbest driver. Okay, let's see what's going on back here. You just watched a guy jump his car into a cluster of trees. Like, why don't you, like, at least speed walk over to the scene of the accident? Holy mackerel! God, that deputy has a foul mouth, huh? Holy mackerel! How about holy f The driver is removed from the tree and taken to the hospital. He's later charged with fleeing police and driving with a suspended license. I'm proud to be an American right there. That was a Ford Taurus doing that by American people. America rules! Woo! Uh oh. In Madison, Wisconsin, police are on the lookout for a man who has just robbed a convenience store. They search the area and come up with nothing. Until... We got some debris in the street. Turns out the suspect has stolen a truck. Filled with donuts. Out of the car! Three out two, I'm out with it. The Christmas cream is taking off. Fuck about on University. We need Papa. We need Papa. Your best getaway car from the police is probably not a Krispy Kreme truck. You know how the police are when it comes to donuts. It's a Krispy Kreme, Krispy Kreme. This is like chum to a bunch of hungry sharks. Not stopping. The back of the truck is open. There was like a pallet of bear claws that went past those cops and they kept going. That is dedication, people. The donut truck finally runs out of gas in a parking lot. Warren G. White Lightning, that's right, White Lightning, is arrested and charged with shoplifting, auto theft, evading police, hit and run, drunk driving, operating a vehicle without a license, and wasting a truckload of perfectly good donuts. All you had to do, bro, is stop and buy coffee. Give them coffee and the donuts. They would have let you go. They are really good donuts, I have to say. Ohio police officer observed this driver committing a minor moving violation. Hello. This is your driver's license, please. Okay, you realize what you did wrong back there? No. You didn't stop for the stop sign. I stopped. Unaware of the lofty heights he's about to ascend to, the cop writes up a ticket. What is your present address? I thought you didn't give pretty girl a ticket. Pardon me? I thought you didn't give pretty girl a ticket. You didn't think we gave pretty girls tickets? You're absolutely right. We don't. Sign here. 
Oh, was that beautiful? That cop was... <laughs> we don't. You didn't think we gave pretty girls tickets? You're absolutely right. We don't. In Comedy Kids, that's what we call walking into it. She opened the door, and he walked on through. You didn't think we gave pretty girls tickets? And in his head, he's like, count three beats, hold for laughs. You're absolutely right. We don't. Sign here. <laughs> <laughs> guy should be in show business because he did everything absolutely 100% right. I love him. I want him to write for the show. <laughs> Pardon me? I thought you didn't get pretty girl ticket. I mean, hello. Your looks is not going to get you out of a ticket, lady. Be careful, please. This Arizona man has just bet his friends that he can drive his car through an old camper parked on his property. Sorry, kids. Camping trip is canceled. Coming through! <laughs> that camper could have been someone's home! Having won the bet, the driver doubles down and takes on a much bigger motorhome. I'm not sure the success of the first jump qualifies them to advance to a more complicated thing. Guys, I just watched my eighth Dukes of Hazard marathon, and I think we got this. You okay? All of a sudden, crashing a car through a busted camper became really dangerous. I'm a stunt driver! Woo-hoo-hoo! Yeah! Hot stuff! Superstar! Oh, I've watched 30 Super Bowls. They didn't have this much coverage. You can show it from as many angles as you like. Hardcore! Oh, here we go. It's still really dumb. <laughs> Woo! Oh, close. The reckless driver is unhurt and wisely chooses against going for the trifecta. You know, this guy might want to opt for a safer midlife crisis, maybe buying a Porsche, dating a hot 21-year-old, but not this. Take it out the track! driver means respecting the rules of the road and those who enforce those rules. Too bad nobody explained that to this elderly lady. Remember, she was for speeding in the construction zone. Take me to jail. Go take me to jail. Step on out. 72 year old woman, okay? Give me the f***ing thing. This woman is like a junkyard dog. She is a pit bull. Take me to jail. Go take me to jail. I guess there's uh, no world's best grandma coffee mug in her future. Step back. Step back and you're going to be paid, man. All right, Granny Goose, what part of stand back or you will be tased do you not understand? Step back and you're going to be paid, man. I dare you. I don't think this lady gets how dares work. I dare you. I dare you. I dare you. I'm getting back in my car. You're going to be saved. Stop. I'm getting back in my car. No, ma'am. Baby, you're on the ground. You're on the ground. Now put your hands on your back. Ultimately, you got to admit, she did dare him. I dare you. All right. I have respect for my elders. What did you want me to do? Taste you? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Put your hands behind your back. You're going to be tased again. I feel bad for the elderly lady, but on the other hand, she should know better not to talk back to an officer of the law. The driver suffers no serious injury in the incident. She is charged with resisting arrest, but released later in the day. Grandma danger. She likes to put the pedal to the middle, drive hard and fast. Till she gets tasered. <laughs>
A man in Michigan has just robbed a meatpacking plant and is fleeing in the company vehicle. A meat truck? You know, you could pull up in something maybe a little quicker. You have got to be a real jackass to try to run from the cops in a meat truck. Seriously. Stop that meat! You're not taking me, my meat! We love steak! What's he gonna do? He's gonna throw a steak in his face? I mean, come on. Now, if you pull a pit maneuver on a meat truck, is that called a barbecue pit maneuver? It was top heavy. It went over real easy. <laughs> cow tipping. They tipped the out of this car. It was cow tipping, man. I'm just worried about the meat in the truck. Was the meat okay? The beef bandit's goose is cooked. And for stealing a refrigerated truck, this meathead is going to the cooler. Stealing a meat truck, well done. Crashing it and having it flip over, that's pretty rare. And these jokes, <laughs> medium at best. No. That took me minutes, man. <laughs> West Yorkshire, England. An intoxicated man takes his girlfriend for a joyride in a stolen bus. Woo! You know you drunk when you decide to steal a bus. I'm gonna take a bus. How's it going back there, baby? You enjoy the ride? Why won't my boyfriend ever take me on romantic trips like that? Goodbye, Hawaii. Come in, bro. That's what I see when I want a joy ride. I like to go 35, 40 miles an hour in a bus. It's not even a double decker bus. What's wrong with this guy? Big man! Coming through! Oh, hold it. Oopsie daisy. Sorry, love. Oopsie. Oh, ow, oh, bugger. Someone should tell him the getaway is faster if you don't hit literally everything. Oh, let's see. This way, that way, no. Oh, there goes the axle. Boy, off, get off. No, seriously, everyone off. Let's go. We got coppers here. Let's go. Off, off, off. The drunk coachman causes nearly $400,000 worth of damage before Bobbies finally take him into custody. He's sentenced to three and a half years in jail. The irony is, um, with the drunk guy at the wheel, uh, that's the first time that bus has been on time uh, for a decade. Oh, man. Sorry. Oh. Bye -bye. At the Thunder Jam drag races in Texas, all eyes are on a dragster nicknamed the Cool Bus. That was the coolest I had seen in a long time. Driver Ken Nelson says he built the cool bus to get kids excited about going to school. Not so cool now, are you, bus? I want to take the cool bus to school. Kids, the cool bus is here. Yo, man, I trade you a jelly sandwich for that bologna sandwich. No, it's a jelly man. What if he wasn't? Would they announce that? Driver is burned beyond recognition. Unfortunately for the cool bus, 
make schools out forever. The wheels on the bus go round and round and then burst into flames. A woman returns to her car in a convenience store parking lot. Stop that car! Oh, not good. I guess this woman went to the convenience store to get a human being smoothie. Even if the guy wasn't standing right there, she still would have smashed into a car and a gas pump. Oh! Oh. Oh. See you later. When her car wheels were like, I'm sure that was their way of saying, are you all right? Bye. Sorry. So are you okay? Do you have this handled, or do you need my assistance in any way? Can I? Do you need me to get someone, or? Not only is she a lousy woman driver, the other car has a woman driver in it, and she gets out and just looks. Do you need assistance, or should I just, um? Remarkably, the victim suffers only broken ribs and lacerations. Using surveillance footage, police track down and arrest the driver a week later. There are two sides to every story. Maybe not this one, but almost every story. Oh, gosh. My oh, bad. Gosh. Oh. oh, gosh, it stinks. Six a gallon is pretty good. Okay, this is a little more. Nothing is still none. There we go. A little further. Okay. Okay, so is this guy like sniffing the gas or something? What's that? Okay. No. How do you not hear or see your car roll away? <laughs> so lonely. Gosh, darn it, this takes a long time. Hey, man, I just saw a car roll over what? in the ditch. Huh? You see that? Luckily, the Hells Angels were buying uh, big gulps to witness this thing. Where'd they come from? Did you lose your car? Uh, maybe it is my car. Let me just uh, settle up here. Uh, yes, receipt. Okay. Uh, put the in it. What a dumbass, man. His car's in the ditch. Don't even notice. This whole thing is pretty much solid gold comedy. Um, the only thing that would improve it on a comedy level would be if at the end the bikers and the guy pumping the gas did a big musical number. <laughs> What do we have here? A car!